Okay, greetings to you, so let's push up with the genders and persuasions. How are you all doing? Uh, why am I up at like 7 o'clock on a Friday morning? Oh yeah, London baby, somewhere in the city baby, oh, oh yeah. This will be my third year in a row going. Um, <clears throat> it's, hopefully it's not too bad, I'm going to have the dog decides to eat again, excuse me, while I go in the living room. Okay, the dog decided to eat her food, so I've moved to the living room, and as I sit down in the living room, she decides to come in as well, don't you? Yes. And anyway, I hope you can see me with the light okay and everything, yeah? Um, but yeah, today, off to some in the city, I'm taking a chance, I'm using an old, the only con cool picks that I had that I thought broke, but I'm not sure how or why it broke. Um, I haven't used it for years, because I got my big bridge cam in my DSLR uh, not a couple of Christmases ago. So yeah, I'm taking a chance using this one. But it seems okay, I tested it, I uploaded, I videoed, I stuffed with it, you know, so it seems okay. I'm taking my big camera with me anyway, just to be on the safe side. But yeah, um, I should make this short and sweet. Gonna go have my breakfast. Then I have to go and pick up Helen. And then on our way to London, woo! Um. Yeah, anybody that followed me on Snapchat saw the stuff that I did and things. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it this weekend. Hopefully it's not as bad as last weekend. From what I can gather, what they've been posting, they have actually changed it about a bit, which is good. Because last year was a bit of a snafu. But anyway, downside is obviously Chris isn't going boo-hoo. But hey, look, <laughs> rep, <laughs> represent Sup Daily Crew. Uh, um... <laughs> Or was it? No, Sup Daily Crew represents... Oh, I don't... I'm not... Look, I'm done with the homies, okay? I know what it's like, in it do. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my... It's too early. Leave me alone. But anyway, yeah, downside, Chris isn't going. But upside, I get to meet Killian. Yay! Ooh, I have met Killian and I know Killian met Chris. And it's like, ah! Good to be awesome. Ooh. So, yeah, I mean, it's like... It's all fun seeing, like, YouTubers and stuff, but it's also... I get to meet old friends at the same time. Especially those that live like the opposite side of the country and I don't get to see that often, so... It's cool. It's fun. I'm going to enjoy myself. There's quite a few panels I actually want to uh, go to this year, so... And I want to try and film as many interview with you things with people as well. <laughs> and on a side note, um... On a side note, by the time you see this, it would have obviously... I would have retweeted it and stuff, but... Uh, about, oh, about four years ago, this lovely YouTuber guy called Bob Jens, I managed to bump into him when he was slightly inebriated, but then we all were <laughs> at VidCon a couple of years ago. Um, I love Bob Jens always out. Uh, he did this, like, he does this, this video thing called The Topic. I'll put a link in the description to his channel and that, uh, where he just talks about the topic daily things. And he wanted, like, people to do intros for it. So I did. And I woke up this morning to a tweet from him, and he's actually used to what I did from about four years ago at the beginning of his um, video, the topic. So, yes, that was the one thing to wake up to. Hang on. Yes, can I help you? That face, do that face, do that face. Boo, boo, boo. Bless you. <laughs> So, yeah, that was a fun thing to wake up to this one. Thank you, Bob Jens, me. <laughs> uh, to, anyway, I, I'm trying to make this short. Um, I will obviously video as I go, take pictures as I go. Anybody that followed me on my social media, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, etc. will see all the people that I meet and stuff. So, yeah, let's go to London. You don't want me to go though, do you? She said, no, mommy, please stay, don't leave me. Oh, I will be back soon though, I'll be back soon. Don't lick me hand. <laughs>
uh, it's Friday, it's nearly five o'clock, we've been over, got our wristbands, yay! And um, I met Tom and I saw Ed and I gave him his cross stitch and stuff like that. And I thought, oh, I'll film some stuff while I'm over there. Now, that was a bit <laughs> shut up. That's <laughs> Helen giggling because I had a slight senior. I had a senior moment and I was like, I forgot my camera. Now, okay, let me explain. Basically, we got to the hotel really early. Now, checking isn't until 3 o'clock. You check out at 12. We got here about half past 12. Um, so I went in and I was like, well, even if I can't check in, I just want to make sure I can leave my car there and come back later on and check in. Um, is it happens, the room was ready. So, yeah, here we are. Here's your keys. Sign in. Deliver, 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 this, that, so and so. And, yeah, checked in. No problem. Went down everything from the car, came up, chucked it all in the hotel room. I have literally only just, see my clothes behind me, I've only just unpacked um, because, yeah, we just dropped everything off and went out. But of course, I had stuff in my bag that I didn't want to take and stuff in another bag that I did want to take over for, like, presents and stuff. So I was there and I was like, so I took everything out, put everything back in, went over and... I forgot my camera. <laughs> I left both of my cameras in the hotel room. Yes, I know I'm a twit. I'm a numbnuts. On the upside, I did meet Killian. Yay, Killian! He's cool. Um, on the way through. So, yeah, we're going to meet up with him a bit later on. He's in his, his hotel chilling. We've just come back here. We've just had the most delicious cupcakes in the entire world ever. So, yes, now it's time for the obligatory room tour. Right, so we're staying at the Hampton by Hilton. Um, it's a brand new hotel. It's only been here about a year or so. And it's literally just around the corner from the Ramada where we normally stay. Um, so, yeah, it's very new. And you can tell it's new. You can tell everything's new. Although, yeah, but anyway, let's start. We're in room 318 on the third floor. Um, if you look on the debris here, da, 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 da. Uh, where are we? That's the lift, and we walk all the way down and around, and we're there. Our, the view out of our window is the back of the hotel the other side of us, so it's a really shitty view, but that doesn't make no difference. Okay, you've got the usual stick your card in, lights and stuff like that. Now, this is what I like. See this here? Right, this... <coughs> it says, you can tell it's new because all the doors are stick. But don't. Big old sliding door into the bathroom and now this is what I've got a bathroom right uh, excuse the toilet roll up there it ran out so I moved it um, nice towels we've got like little like hand towels and uh, face towels body towels that sort of stuff there uh, usual bits and we've got this sort of like the usual uh, hand soap body lotion there the only thing I have noticed though no freebies no like soap soaps or shower caps no nothing like that that's one thing I have noticed um, another little hand towel here, you know, they're not bad, they're not brilliant, but they're not bad. Nice sort of like little mirror there. And now this is what I love, this shower, look. It's a proper low down shower. I reckon this might be one of the, what they call the accessible ones for wheelchairs and that. Obviously that's the floor one, nobody's used it yet. You know, and then we've got the nice in there. So we've got like the shower head and things to hold on to, which would be great for me. Um, there's the, the dials there, and then you've got like your body wash, shampoo, that sort of stuff there. You know, I'm not quite sure what that bar down there is for. I think it might be to put your feet on so you can wash your shitty toenails and stuff, I don't know. Anyway, so that's the bathroom, so not not too bad, not pretty bad. And then out of the bathroom, great big mirror there. This one, I close it. Oh, clank. And that's the little wardrobe bit behind. There's an iron there, ironing board, what have you. A little shelf up there. Obviously, thing like that. There's big niche. Stop calling me that. The question <laughs> ruined my reputation. Uh, we have my a reputation. twin room. We think that door is an adjoining door because we can't open it. So it must be locked from the other side. Yeah. Um, nice room. Got two nice big beds, actually. Decent size for a twin. Don't want to see your ass. <laughs> right. Um... Yeah, I've got a little like 
uh, sort of bedside table in the middle. Lots of little lights. Love the little lights. Nice picture of the XL there. Uh, that's my bed. I've chucked my suitcase over there. Like I said, uh, there's no point. I'll move this chair. <clears throat> the view out the window is like, hang on, she says, turn open the curtain, is that. So, yeah, we have the back of ours, and then that's the hotel next door over there. And some random patch of green grass in the middle. I don't know what that's for. But anyway, not that it matters much. Um, so, yeah, so that's my bed there. I've got my bedtime cuddle buddy and what have you. And then we've got, like, this swivel chair and this little desk area with a lamp there. Um, nice big mirror there. Loads of plug sockets, actually. That's the clock. I moved the clock. The clock was over there. But I thought, well, at night, I should use that to charge my phone up. So I put the clock over here. So I've got plug sockets there. Another plug socket underneath there. There's the hairdryer, which I took out from there. And then we've got the kettle, usual tea, coffee, bollocks. Nice big telly. We'll say nice big telly. So, yeah, I mean, it's not a massive room. But it's it's bigger than some other twin rooms that I've stayed in. It is a decent size. The mattresses seem okay as well. So, yeah, not too bad. Great news. No. <laughs> Oh, she won't let me call her bait niche. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm that's... Right now. Uh, anyway, I can't get this angle right on this camera. I've used this camera for so long, I just hope all of this comes out, otherwise I am up shit creek. Um, who are we? That'll do. Ah, crap. Anyway, that's it for Friday. We should probably just chill here, have something to eat, go down in the bar, hang around, meet up with Killian again a bit later, and not do much tonight, because my knee is aching from all the walking and stuff and plus i'm a bit tired from the driving um gonna have breakfast breakfast at the hotel but yeah tomorrow i mean the trouble is tomorrow it's going to be a bit busy if i take my camera and walk around it's definitely a better layout this year i would definitely say it's definitely a better layout um they even have a separate area for the meet and greets past the main stage so yes but i should take the, i should remember to take the camera with me tomorrow mm -hmm. So I can actually film inside and show you all this stuff. But anyway, I should go now. And yeah. <laughs>
it's Sunday, last day of summer in the city. Um, I had an awesome day yesterday, I had a wander around, did some stuff, went to see Brizzy Voices, there she signed my book, and I got some pictures of her, she's so cool, she's awesome, ah! She needs to do a collab with Brock Baker, she needs to. Um, hope you can see me okay, the sun and the lighting is all a bit weird, if I open the curtains it's too bright, if I close the curtains it's too dark, if I put a light on it's too, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you can see me okay. Um, so, yeah, see your busy voices. Uh, what funny story about that. When we went to get the wristbands, right, you have to now, what they've done this year is you get your tickets, you get your, your ticket, you get your wristband, this one, for like whether it's the day or the weekend or whatever. Then they've got a separate queue in the same hall for your ballots. And basically you could go in at any time with your piece of paper, with the ballot, barcode on, a scan it and you can get your wristbands whether your wristband meetup is in the morning or the afternoon or whatever you can pick your wristband up whenever which is really really good right because it cuts down on some of the queuing like they had last year which was a snafu but anyway um so there is a massive queue now um our meet and greet was at 12 now somewhere in the city itself didn't open until 11 so we were like, oh, big Q, uh, and we knew there was going to be a big Q in the hall because there was this, and I'm thinking, with my knee and that, I can't stand up for that long. So we see, like, this chat there, da, 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 and I say, excuse me, I said, I don't mean to be, like, rude, I said, but is there any way I can get to, like, the front of the queue? I said, because, you know, I can't stand for this long a time in the queue. And he said, yeah, certainly no problem. I said, come with me, come with me. So he took us around the corner, went to this little bit that said special assistance. And basically somebody had like got a pen and went, eh, 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 special assistance and stuck it up on the board. All right. So got there, got our wristbands, no problem. Um, walked into the main hall area, like the main, just the main thing. And the queue was massive. It was from obviously where the meet and greet started, right the way back through the main stage area. Right the way back through, and this Killian said it was it was up and around the corner up by the panels. And if you saw the pictures I took, the video of the area itself, you'll see how big that queue was. And I was saying to Ellie, number one, there's no way I can stand in the queue for that long. Number two, if we stood in the queue for that long, we may well miss our meet and greet, you know. Um, so we were a bit worried about that. But anyway, plus they're doing bag searches and that, they're extra security, which is fair enough, you understand that. So, um... What we ended up doing was, again, a bit naughty, went to the front, spoke to the security guard there, and he said, no, he said, don't worry, he said, he said that I've been briefed on situations like this, he said, if you want to get a chair and just sit to the side, because there, there was another woman that was there with crutches, with her daughter, um, and they got a chair and was just sat, and he said, he said, if you want to get a chair, sit to the side, he said, they'll be opening in a few minutes anyway, I'm just waiting for the okay from, like, the other staff and stuff like that. He said, but just sit there, and then when it, when it opens, you just, like, get up and go through with the, with the crowd sort of thing. And I was like, oh, well, thank you very much. So, literally, as Helen brings the chair back, they open it. <laughs> so, I was well, like, my effort was for nothing. I'm just like, oh, I've got the chair, okay, let's... Oh, everyone's moving. Well, I'll put the chair here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, nah. Mm. So, anyway, we went through. We were then stood there still for about... Only about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, it wasn't yeah. that long. Yeah, we were still stood up for about a quarter of an hour waiting for, because some had started their meeting greets at half 11, ours wasn't until 12, so they went through first, and we, then they let us through, bag check. We were like second in line to meet her, which was really, really cool, so we weren't there that long at all. Uh, I had trouble getting out, though. They, they, they hadn't opened the, the other gate to let people out. But the woman we who came up to us was like, oh, yeah, you're looking for the way out? And, like, she was helping us, like, obviously get out and stuff. And she was like, yeah, they should have opened F6 by now, but they haven't yet. Yeah. So it was just, like, what ended up happening was some of the meet and greets were starting a bit too early. And some of the people who had were supposed to open the way out hadn't opened <laughs> yeah. it yet. They weren't quite ready for people to be done so fast, I think. Mm. But I tell, you, I tell you what, though, the volunteers this year are on point big They're time. They're incredible. That I can't fault anybody so far. Um, last year it was a bit of a, of a, like I said, last year just seemed so disorganised. This year it's like they've learned from the mistakes, they've got it up. Uh, the fairground rides actually have their own little bit sectioned off next and to the main only stage. Two of them instead of like the four there where last yeah, year. this year there's only the Dodgems and that remix one, which is the flat one that goes around, which again you would have seen from my video yesterday. Um, 
so yeah but today is a bit of a chill day my meet and greets I'm not bothering with because I don't know who they are <laughs> I was just like well oh, without the eight put any name I don't know Helen's got who is it you got Duncan and Mime, Pidiyasan and Mime. I love um, them so much, they're Japanese and they're incredible and yes, okay, I'll shut up before I fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were fangirling yesterday at Brizzy, but anyway, um, yeah, so today's a bit of a chill day, not doing much. Uh, there is a mental health panel I want to see at three o'clock, a couple of others that I may, may not do, I don't know. Uh, Killian's on his way over with, to drop his suitcase here because his hotel was going to charge him 20 quid. Because he doesn't fly out till about 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, Chantel will be right. Oh, I was down at the hotel bar last night, the three of us. Me, Helen, Chantel, and Killian are now officially the Sup Raspberry crew. <laughs> because we were chatting about stuff, and, but, and then it got on to like Chris, and then it got on to recipes, and then it got on to like stuff. And next thing I know, Killian has sent me on Twitter a recipe for peanut butter cookies. And that was, and that was it. it. It just snowballed from there. Anybody that was watching my Twitter Saturday night, I do apologise. <laughs> but, yeah. And then so then it got on to raspberries and the chairs kept squeaking as well. So we were, like, making squeaky <laughs> noises. It was sort of like, it was like in Chris's honour of last year where he had the squeaky door for him that, ee, 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 that kept annoying me. We were squeaking the chairs in his honour. But the best part was... <laughs> we were pissed ourselves laughing about it. The best part was Killian. It's like, oh yeah, what do you want a drink? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was still at the bar, yeah. He wasn't even thinking about squeaking the chair. He was just like, oh, and then the chair just went, Rrr. it was like, oh my god. Well, oh, last night, seriously, yeah, I have not laughed so much in a long time. And it was absolutely awesome. It was awesome. But anyway, yeah, uh, so I'm going to sign off now. Uh, if I meet anybody else, I'll put stuff up. But yeah, today's the last day of something in the city. Tomorrow morning, we go home. So, yeah, I'll catch you all later.